This is a Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California. Today, I'm going to explain uh, how to use iBridgePy to do algorithm trading with interactive brokers and how to solve a few error, example, error messages. For example, the contract description specified for something is ambiguous. I'm going to demo how you will see these errors and explain why the problem comes. So I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook to run iBridgePy Plus to demo the, the error and the solution. So you will see in the first block, I just want to import a few things. You can ignore that part. Then the next line is to use a iBridgePy function called the build active iBridgePy Plus and with my uh, account code so that I will have an iBridgePy Plus object. The difference between traditional iBridgePy and iBridgePy Plus is iBridgePy Plus is designed to work in Jupyter Notebook and it, you can run it step by step. And the traditional iBridgePy is designed to run strategies continuously. So you can see I have a iBridgePy Plus object, which is called T. And after I created the object, you will see the account information like this. And then I'm going to demo how to see the, how, how does the error message come up. So here I use a iBridgePy function called super symbol. I want to define an option. The symbol is SPX, which is the option for SP500 index. Base currency is US dollar. Expiry is 2023, November 16. Exchange is CBOE. Primary exchange is CBOE as well. The strike price is uh, $4,500. Be careful, this one, the, the data type is float instead of integer. And option right is put. Multiplier is 100. And then I want to run an hybrid pie function called show real time price to display the option ask price. Let me show you how to run. So when you run this one, you will see the error message is contract description specified for SPX is ambiguous. Actually, if you specify, if you uh, carefully look at the parameters you put, you will see there's no ambiguous. However, if you check out expiry, you will find out today is November 17th and the contract, the contract's expiry is November 16th. So in this case, the error message from interactive brokers is this contract description specified is ambiguous. That is why. So how can we solve this problem? The solution is to provide a contract ID. What is contract ID? Contract ID is a global unique identification number designed by interactive brokers. And so which means every contract will have a contract ID. If we have the contract ID, then you will solve the problem. But how to get contract ID? I will show you one way is to use iBridgePy function called get contract details. Here I put option SPX and the field I say contract ID. It means I want to know the contract ID of this contract. The base currency US dollar, strike price, primary exchange, right, multiplier, expiry is here, let's run this function. You will see the contract ID is this number. How can I use this contract number? Then I modify the definition of for SPX using super symbol, but I put the contract ID here. Be careful, this one is the type of string, uh, contract ID is a string. So I put this string ID 
into the super symbol and then this time I will run show real time price. But you will see that requested market data is not subscribed because uh, the package data or real time price is not free from, from interactive brokers. You need to call an uh, interactive broker's representative to ask what kind of data package you need for this specific contract. It's not expensive, so it won't hurt to buy. It won't cost you too much, actually. So until this point, I know the definition of super symbol is correct. This is one way is to use average pi function get contract details to find out the contract ID. The other way is to go to Interactive Brokers official contract official data contract database. If you change the search, the default way is all. If you change to contract ID and you put contract ID there, then you will see that a window jump out like this one. And this is the contract we are looking for. If you click details, and you will see the details of this contract is here. If we let's review what has been provided. So clearly, this one is a description of SP500 stock index. The symbol is SPX, exchange CBOE. And you can, this is the primary exchange. You can see it's a, the, the, the font of the CBOE is, uh, is bold. And also there are other exchanges. You can trade, contract tab is option, and base currency is here, and contract ID is here. And also you notice that expiration date is November 17th, but the last trading date is November 16th. It means that there is a dif difference between expiration date and the last trading days. So when you use super symbol, the expiry, which corresponds to the last trading date, and you can check out the strike, write, multiplier, we didn't specify the exercise style. And local class is SPX as well. And there is a trading hours. And we notice there's an incremental 0 0.05. And in this case, 0 0.01. So you need, you need, when you place others, especially limit order or any other others, you need to be careful about the price, limit price or stop price. It should follow the, the price parameters. And also the minimum contract size is one. So that, let's come back to here. And for example, I want to change to something like this is, I want to, I don't know the contract ID. I just want to specify the contract by expiry. And you see, I changed it to November 21st, and today is November 17th. So this contract is still active. I don't have contract ID at, at the moment. And actually, if the contract is still active, you don't need to specify contract ID. Let's run it. You will see the error is part of the request market data is not subscribed because I didn't pay for it. That that is why you will see this this error. And also we can also use get contract details to find out what's the contract ID for this one. Let's check it. Uh, okay, actually because there is a, a error, so I need to restart. The kernel, let's run it this way. And then let's go to contract ID. So you will see this contract ID. Let's verify this contract ID. 
If I go to contract ID like this and search, you will see this one change to expiration November 21st. Let's go into there and check out contract. Contract ID is here. SPX, CBOE, US dollar, expiration date, last trading date. Strike, put, multiplier. So it proved that it, uh, we found the correct contract ID using average pi function. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Hui Liu uh, for iBridgePi.com. iBridgePi is for algorithm trading. If you need any help, please look for our well-known run rent a coder service to help you build your trading robots. Thank you very much.